<coughs> hey, what a way to start off a video. Welcome back. Well, today, the last couple days was kind of rough for me because the, it's starting to become fall. <coughs> and the weather's changing a lot. So I'm kind of sniffling and sneezing as if I didn't need any more sinus problems. Yes, I'm drinking a Miller High Life. The last time I the last time I drank alcohol was about about a month ago, ish. We had a little dinner here, and we had some family members over. Lots of talk. <clears throat> so. Let's talk about some of the stuff I read today. For some reason, I bought two copies of Miles Morales Spider-Man Outlawed. This is the, sto the outlaw stories about child superheroes have to be registered, and they and they're, uh, it's illegal for them to operate. So I wonder how that's really going to work out. Because to me, the story is kind of stupid, but. <laughs> This is the beginning of it, and it looks like you know, Miles got captured again. Don't know why, but oh well. Next is Wolverine number five. Vampires again. The story is getting hot, and it looks like there's another another loophole in the story. It's. Ever since they relaunched this Wolverine series, it has, has been pretty much solid. The writing has been solid, in my opinion. <clears throat> but then again, just like a lot of other characters, sooner or later, it's going to get stale. Writing's going to get stale. That happens. Next is Usagi Yojimbo, number seven, twelve, number twelve. This continues the storyline of him of his homecoming. What happened is that his uh, an emissary of the Shogun is coming to his hometown, coming through his whole town. So there, so his hometown's getting, you know, getting ready for it. And so what happens? People who from his old clan, his own his own samurai clan, technically decided to do an uprising and kill this emissary, which means that this current person can't be Shogun. So he goes along with it because of the fact that he knows this is the only way. Like for example, if this emissary dies, they'll take it out on the on the village, his home village where he grew up. So he decided to team up with his rival, who was married to his ex, to his ex girlfriend, to save the village. First he tries. First he says, "I'm joining this rebellion just to do it." Next, <clears throat> I want to talk about the Iceman Limited series. Back in the 80s. Back in the 80s, they tried to revamp a lot of heroes. Give them little short stories and stuff like that. Just to keep people interested. Iceman is one of them. Plus, another thing is he was part of the Amazing Spider-Man and Amazing Friends. So his popularity got a little bit hyped up. The weird thing about it is that Iceman is what they call an Omega class mutant, which means his powers are immeasurable. That's how powerful he is. Only very few people are like that, like Magneto, Storm, Iceman. So, in other words, he's one of the most powerful mutants on the planet. Because you don't know, you can't measure how much his power is. And so, what happened is, as when you first meet Iceman, he was a younger kid, like a teenager. And of course, he plays pranks and stuff like that. And this is him being an adult. He actually has an accounting degree, and he's going to school for accounting and stuff like that. And he's visiting his home hometown for his family's party. I think it's his father's retirement party. I read it like yesterday. 
And then all these shenanigans happen. Him finding this super part of being called Oblivion. Ends up surviving that all. All because of he fell in love with a girl. And this is the weird part. He's always written around. He's always been written for years and years and years as chasing girls. Lucking girls. All of a sudden he's gay. Okay. Now, if you want to make Iceman gay, I can understand that. But where's that inner turmoil to where he he, ha he he comes out as gay? I mean, he comes out as gay in this other X Men book. But the problem is, what's that inner turmoil? It's just like we need to make a gay character. Well, we can't make a gay character because that character would be so gay. But so this Iceman, he's gay. Okay, let's write it in. Oh, yeah. Next thing I read was Beauty and the Beast. It's about Dazzler and the Beast. Dazzler just found people just found out she's a mutant, and back then mutants are like social pariahs. So she lost. So she was a like a like like Britney Spears kind of level. She was a singer like Britney Spears. Imagine Britney Spears was just shunned all of a sudden. That's how she was. And then she started feeling sorry for herself. Ran into some files of some underground mutant stuff. Here comes Beast who kind of falls in love with her. And all around the main bad guy is the son of Doctor Doom. And even though throughout this whole thing. The funny thing is Doctor Doom says I don't care about this person. Because Doom has no, no weaknesses. Doom has no this. So he has a robot to keep an eye on him. He built he built a robot to keep an eye on his son. And when his son fails, he just says, "You're on your own. Goodbye." <laughs> kind of fucked up, but it's kind of funny at the same time. Yeah, today is um, today's Labor Day, and I didn't work today at all. <clears throat> Actually, what I wanted to do today, I couldn't get done. My sinuses are just off the charts. You know, what happened was that one day I can breathe, next time all day I get all this blockage here. When you get when you get something like that, it's hard for you to breathe and hard for you to move. It's really hard for you to do almost anything because you're so miserable. So imagine if someone has COVID-19, they have that stuff, they have that all this congestion in their chest and it's hard for them to breathe. But anyway, we're not gonna talk about bad stuff here today. Today we're gonna to keep it kind of light and funny. You know what I did today so far, not light and funny, but Hopefully I might be because I've been drinking. I might, hopefully I might be able to get some decent sleep and not wake up at two o'clock in the morning and be not be able to go back to sleep because I got to work in the morning. But other than that, y'all, you know, it was it, it was a pretty fun day, except for my um, the sink in, the, in our bathroom was clogged. <coughs> And what happened is it's very old, and so it, was, it started to rust. And so I'm trying to plunge it, and then what happened in the return, rusted water was pumping out, and I was like, oh, my goodness. So I had to run out to get some liquid plumber, pour half of that down. Everything seems to start working. Took a shower. Got done. Still working. Still working. Tried to plunge a little bit. Nothing happened. So I poured the rest of it down. Waited about an hour. Everything was gone. Like they say, pour hot water, everything's working, so it, it's drain is clean, so great. You gotta do some major plumbing stuff around here anyway. But other than that, I'm gonna end this for today. It's gonna be a very short one, probably one of my shortest videos. If you like what I, if you like what I'm saying, give me a thumbs up. 
if you read these books, write, tell, let me know what you think about it. And let's have a discussion.